Some high level players on Slaughterhouse. Whoa. This is a high elo. A high MMR game. I mean just look at the look at the ratings here. Hey everybody. Best of luck, alright? No one has a mic, no one's talking to me today. Oh, the last second dodge. Yeah, you want me to try restarting? Or should I wait? This is a high elo game, I could wait. Man, we even have like a, a leather face, like we're good to go, man. All these guys have a pretty solid build. All builds that I would run, except for maybe the, the Leland. I don't think I would run that top perk anymore. Whoa. Level 99 sissy player, could it be? Nope, going to hitch. The lowest level in this lobby is the leather face at 87. Holy walker moly. Ooh, I would like to get this exit. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. This one would be nice. No way, is he coming the weird way? Maybe it doesn't matter. I wonder if I can get to the slaughterhouse door faster than John even... Oh no, it's Hitchhiker. even cares. That would be interesting. I already have Valve Handle. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, did I say the Chief's Flight? I did, yes. Dude, Insta Valve, literally. Is it even a minute of a live time yet? There's gotta be something I can use around here. What is this? I mean, I insta-valved. That already creates a lot of pressure on these guys. Especially when I have this door open too. I mean, we're just creating way too much pressure. So much space generated. I think there's another... Wait, the gate just opened. They didn't even turn it off. Wait, what? Wait, what? I should see what that is. Tank for my teammate here. Wow. I mean, you saw that that valve spawn, and then the tank spawning right there as well. I mean, that was like a sub minute valve turn on. Wow. Yeah, Slaughterhouse's changes. I mean, they didn't do a good job at turning it off at all, but I mean, just... These are experienced players, right? 99, 99, and an 87 killer. And you can see, just... I mean, I, I solo turned it on. I solo opened the door. Wow. I mean, not much to say about that besides... The valve still needs a little bit of love. You just have one perma spot where the valve handle spawns for slaughter. Um, I think that having the valve spawn in the basement is just bad. Like, they probably, like, every map is like this, where it's like, this is an exit, this is an exit, and then, like, what? There's, like, a door here, a door here. And then, like, I don't know, like, a door here, a door here. Like, maybe, like, making the valve spawn, like, in one of these rooms. So, like, you have to at least unlock a door. And, like, making the fuse box spawn, like, in here or something. So, like, you have to get through one of these doors. Right? 
And then also, like, I feel like in every step along the way, like, there's a well here, right? There's, like, a well here. Like, maybe, like, there just shouldn't be any wells once you leave this, this space. Like, the only wells should be, like, here, and, like, here, and, like, here. You know what I mean? So, like, once you go up the basement, like, there's an exit to go back down. But, like, once you're, like, close to escaping, like, no. Like, you, you don't get, like, a free escape. And then these are also punishable because the family can, like, go down the stairs, right? Do -do 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 -do. Hey, there you are, bitch. You know what I mean? That's how I balance it. And then go from there. See how it feels. Mm -mm -mm. Thinking way too hard about this shitty game? Yeah, I don't think I really thought that too hard about it at all. I think it just makes sense. As you get closer to the exit, it should be more difficult to survive because you're closer to winning the game. So, like, there's no trade-off. You know what I mean? I just think being able to well out of, like, every area is just kind of boring. Welling out is boring. Yeah, but if you can't reset, you just die. No, you can only die if multiple people come to you. 1v1, you can't really die. You know that. Come on.